Yo guys, what is up? So we're back with another video. Today, I wanted to test the input delay when comparing the PS4 to the PS5 in Fortnite. Because as you guys know, the PS5 can run Fortnite a lot better in terms of frames. But now, input delay, it's a little bit questionable because no one really knows how much better the input delay is. Or if there's any difference at all. In this video, I decided to determine how much better it is. And the way I'm doing this is through an input delay test. Where pretty much, there's going to be a barrier in between me and another character which I could shoot. And then once the barrier falls, I press a button which then makes my character shoot. And then once the character gets shot it gives me a time which essentially gives the input delay and the reaction time combined but since i have the same reaction time it's really going to be only testing the input delay and i hope this makes sense so pretty much on the screen as you can see there's going to be a barrier once it breaks i shoot and that gives me a time and at the end of the video whichever console has the least average time is going to be the console with the least amount of input delay i hope this makes sense so yeah i did this five times with the ps5 and five times with the ps4 but before we get to the results i need everyone right now to drop a sub because i am grinding to 100,000 subscribers and trust me it just helps me out because at the end of the day i'm just trying to help you guys out in determining how much better the ps5 is than the ps4 so yeah let's get on into the result as you guys can see, I'm on the PS right now, the barrier breaks, and I shoot, and this is the time I get, 367 milliseconds. I'm gonna get 5 more times, and then update you on the average time. I just finished testing out the PS4 5 times in a row, and the milliseconds I got were 367, 334, 301, 367, and 334, which gives a 340 millisecond average. Now keep in mind, this is not the input delay, it is not a 340 millisecond delay, because my reaction time is involved with this. So just keep that in mind, this is not a test for the milliseconds of input delay, this is just a test of comparing the two and seeing how different the numbers are. So now I'm going to go to the PS5, test it out 5 more times, and let's see the results. Do you guys think it will be higher or lower? I think it's going to be lower, only because the PS5 is a new console, so the input delay is probably going to be lower. So yeah, let's go. Alright guys, I just did it for the PS5 and here are my results. For the first shot, I got 267 milliseconds and for the next 234, 260, 202, and 247, which gives a 242 millisecond average. So as you can see, the numbers are there. The PS5 clearly has less input delay than the PS4 and it's probably the same for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One. But let me know if I should test that in the future. The way I found this out is kind of complicated and it might not even be the best way to actually figure it out. So take this with a grain of salt, but I strongly believe that the PS5 significantly has less input delay than the PS4. And as a competitive Fortnite player, I believe that this difference in input delay is definitely a competitive advantage if you're on the PS5, which is absolutely insane. It just shows how much of an advantage PS5 is actually at. Even when you're building and doing edits, it feels a lot more responsive, and this was just a test to confirm it. And that's the only thing that you can say from this video. Be sure that if this helped you out in any way, subscribe right now on the road to 80,000. So subscribe right now, and other than that, enjoy your day. Peace out.